welcome to the Baldwin High School Commencement Ceremony for the Class of 2020, where Jason Flanders serves as principal and Dr. Maurice Price leads our school district as superintendent. At this time, please stand for the National Anthem and Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm Nathan Mitchell, and I'm honored to welcome you to the Baldwin High School Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. I know this certainly isn't how we imagined our graduation ceremony, but what in life has gone the way we imagined it? I remember the first semester of my freshman year here at Baldwin, about 10 other students and I sat in a teacherless chorus room waiting for the school board to hire a teacher for our class. Most days we had a substitute, but some days we didn't. Well, after about two weeks of waiting, I guess the school board gave up, and so the class was canceled. I was given two options. I could transfer to art or cosmetology. Well, I chose art. And in that class, I discovered a talent that I never knew I had, I was challenged to do things that I never knew I could. My point is that if the Baldwin County school system had been able to hire a chorus teacher, I would have never taken an art class. I would have never discovered my artistic talent, and I certainly wouldn't be on the path I am now to study architecture at Georgia Tech and one day become an Imagineer. It was that disappointment, that event that I couldn't understand, that made me and my family so frustrated that has become one of the most important and life-altering events in my life. And I have the Baldwin County School Board to thank for that. It's that old cliche that everything happens for a reason, because it does. So I hope that each of you, students, parents, faculty, have taken advantage of the unexpected good things that have come from this awful virus, and will optimistically await the wonderful things that are yet to come. So congratulations to all the graduates. We have made it. I look forward to seeing everyone in person on June 27th or July 18th. And now, welcome to the first ever Baldwin High School virtual graduation ceremony. Now I would like to introduce our salutatorian, Aisha Sobdi. Greetings class of 2020, friends, families, and the Baldwin High School community. My name is Aisha Sobdi, and I'm honored to be this year's class of 2020 salutatorian. Though I know this is not the graduation we were all expecting and looking forward to these past four years, I am truly grateful that I get to connect with you all through this virtual graduation ceremony. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time, and hopefully we all get to see each other over the summer for our traditional ceremony. My fellow classmates, congratulations to you all. 
We finally did it. We can finally say we're Baldwin High School graduates. The day that we have worked so hard towards has finally arrived. While high school didn't end the way we all thought it would, this special day still calls for celebration, but just in a socially distant form. Just like many of you, I was deeply devastated to hear that we would be moving to online instruction for the last part of our final year in high school. I'm sure we were all looking forward to senior traditions such as prom, seniors honors night, and the senior picnic. I understand you may be feeling disappointed about these things. However, I think it's important that we reflect back on all the cheerful moments we did get to experience and how much we've grown these past four years instead. Think back to your freshman year and how you felt when you first came to Baldwin High. When making that transition from middle school to high school, we felt excited and nervous at the same time. As the year continued, we all started figuring out which clubs we wanted to join, sports we wanted to play, and whether we wanted to participate in band or theater. During this first year, we developed friendships that we will carry with us after high school, adjusted to a new environment, and started finding new interests. Moving on to our sophomore year, we felt more settled and developed a better sense of how high school works. We continued to challenge ourselves academically with higher level classes like APs and dual enrollment. We got more engaged and learned more about what high school has to offer. This was also a big year as many of us started to get our driver's licenses and became more independent. This achievement was just one of the many we will experience in our lives. Then came junior year, which is probably when some of us started experiencing the early stages of senioritis. The feeling of being so close to the end but not exactly there yet was starting to make us feel anxious. It was in our junior year we started getting a feel of what we wanted to do after high school, and if you were still unsure by this point, it's okay, I kind of was too. Many of us started making college visits, preparing for the SAT and ACT, figuring out whether we wanted to join the military, and so on. This year was definitely busy, but it helped us prepare for the future. Our senior year finally arrived, and we are now at the end of our high school journey. During this year, we got to take our senior formals and casuals, went to our last pep rally and football game as a senior, applied to colleges, and decided what direction we wanted to take after high school. It was in high school we crossed milestones we will remember for the rest of our lives, such as our first day and last first day of high school, a first date, and a first job, just to name a few things. These past four years, we have worked hard, made meaningful friendships and other relationships, matured into the individuals we are today, and now we get to look back and be proud of all we've done. As we start to move on to our next chapter in life, some thoughts I would like to share with you today is to be open to new experiences, whether that is a change of majors in college, our careers, or even a routine. Take time to figure out what you truly enjoy doing and make room to learn new skills and hobbies. Throughout the process of finding your interests, never rush, even if you feel like everyone around you has it all figured out. Take things at your own pace, and don't worry if there are changes in your plans. No matter what we choose to do after high school, please remember to stay focused and work hard as you all have done to get to this stage. Though these next years can get busy, remember to maintain your relationships with your friends and families since they are the ones who will always be there to support us. Make sure to enjoy this time too as we continue to make more life-changing experiences. I know you will all do well and be successful in your chosen paths. I would like to end off today's speech with a huge thanks to the faculty and staff of Baldwin High School for making this ceremony possible for us, and for all the support you have given us during this challenging time and throughout our high school careers. Teachers and counselors, thank you so much for always leading us in the right direction, providing your thoughtful advice, and helping students have access to countless opportunities. Also, I would like to thank all of our families and friends for staying by us through this journey and pushing us to do our best always. My two best friends, Kara Bennett and Nathan Mitchell. We have known each other for over 10 years now, so thank you for being able to deal with me that long. I'm really happy we got to go to high school together, and I'm excited for our next four years of college together too. You both are strongly talented, intelligent, funny, and unique. Also, my dear mom and dad, as I was writing this speech, I couldn't think of any words that could ever express the amount of gratitude I have for you both. I know I probably drive you both crazy all the time, but you are what keeps me going and motivated to achieve my goals. I really appreciate you both for all the sacrifices you have made for me, for allowing me to make my own choices, and for always being there for me no matter what I do. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you both dearly. 
Lastly, congratulations once again, fellow classmates. I wish you all the best of luck and success. Please welcome our valedictorian, Kara Bennett. Hello, class of 2020, and hello, family, friends, faculty and staff, administrators, and board members. First, I would like to congratulate each and every one of our graduates. Today marks a special day in our lives where we leave high school to begin our transition to the real world, a world which is filled with challenges and problems and which we have been preparing for for the last 13 years. As I was trying to come up with ideas for this speech, I looked through some of my old yearbooks and at the Bolden High School Facebook page. On Facebook, I watched all of the senior spotlight videos and I got to learn about your plans after graduation. I saw you, my fellow graduates, talking about your goals, to be in the military, to be teachers, scientists, lawyers, police officers, to work in business, technology, communication, and healthcare, to be an architect, to be an economist, to be a software engineer. Throughout school, we've been told that you are the future. I've heard that so many times, and while I knew logically that it was true, I never really believed it. It was just something that adults said to inspire us. Watching these videos, though, I realized that all those adults were correct. We are the future. Pretty soon, we are going to be the adults. We are going to go out into the world and be the leaders and change makers in our communities. I would like to share an experience that I've had and what I learned from it. During interviews or on applications, there's a question that gets asked a lot. What is a challenge you faced and how did you overcome it? I have a story that happened a couple years ago that I've used a lot for these occasions. This is how it goes. I was 13 and was playing for a travel soccer team. I wasn't as good as the other players on the team. I was always messing up in practices and I didn't get to play that much in games. It was embarrassing and I wanted to give up and quit the team. But time went by, I didn't quit, I kept practicing and eventually I caught up to my teammates. Normally, I'll talk about how this experience taught me that if you don't give up and keep trying, you can achieve your goals. It's a good story and a pretty straightforward moral, which is why I've used it so many times. But I think I'm missing some important details. Before I tell you though, I have something I'd like to confess. I didn't actually start writing the speech until the day before it was due. I tried to start earlier, but I couldn't do it. To be honest, I hate sharing things that I've written because I never feel like they're good enough. I think that's why I procrastinated so much on this speech. I wanted it to be perfect, but I didn't know how to do that, so I wasted a lot of time not writing anything at all. Eventually, I started running out of time, and I had to accept that it wasn't going to be perfect, and just write something. Now back to the soccer team. Looking back, I realized I had a similar problem there that I had with this speech. I mean, I definitely wasn't as good at soccer as the other people on the team, but that wasn't my only problem. When I was playing, I was so worried about messing up or embarrassing myself that I would often hold back. It was easier to simply not try than to risk trying and failing. This is something that happens to me a lot. There have been so many times in my life when I wanted to give up rather than take the chance of messing up. Sometimes I'm able to resist this temptation, but sometimes I still will give in. I'm trying to be more confident though in all aspects of my life. My advice to all of you is to do the same. Remember that it's okay to fail. Failing is how we learn, and right now is the best time to do it. There's one more really important thing that I left out of my soccer story, which is all the people who helped me along the way. I definitely could not have done it on my own. There were my friends who encouraged me, my teammates who practiced with me, my coaches who kept pushing me, my family who believed in me. Just like in my story, all of us have worked hard to be able to graduate today, but we didn't do it alone, I think it's important to acknowledge all the help we've gotten along the way. First, I want to thank you, graduates. Thank you for all the work you've put in these past 13 years. Thank you for supporting each other. Thank you for the memories. And thank you in advance for all the amazing things that you're going to do after today. Thank you to the hundreds of teachers who have taught us and inspired us. Thank you to the teachers who stayed after school to give us extra help or to run a club meeting. Thank you to the teachers who never gave up on us. Thank you to the coaches and directors who taught us how to work as a team and harness our creative abilities. Thank you to all the people who worked outside the classroom to make sure that our school ran smoothly and properly. 
Thank you to our parents and families for forming us into the people we are today. And thank you, mom and dad, for putting up with me, for inspiring me, for being the reason I'm giving this speech. I'm so glad that I was able to go through this experience with all of you. I hope that I'll be able to say goodbye to everyone in person later this summer. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2020, and thank you for listening. REACH scholars are selected in middle school and sign a contract to maintain a certain grade point average, remain crime, drug, and behavior issue free, and meet with a volunteer mentor until they graduate from high school. Their parents, or guardians, signed a contract to support their student through their education. Students who complete program requirements receive a $10,000 scholarship to be used at any HOPE eligible institution, and if they attend a REACH partner institution, they will receive a $20,000 scholarship. Please join us in congratulating the first class of REACH scholars to graduate from Baldwin High School. Hi, I'm Caitlin Corbin. I'll be attending Central Georgia Technical College in the fall, and I'll be majoring in nursing. Hi, my name is Michaela Milner. I will be attending Kennesaw State University, majoring in nursing. My name is DeAndre McKnight. I will be attending Georgia College and State University to major in biology. I plan to become a veterinarian in the future. Hello, my name is Kaya Larkin. I will be attending Valdosta State University in the fall to major in health science with a minor in dance. Hi, my name is Savannah Sanford. I plan to attend Kennesaw State University to major in biology to later become an anesthesiologist. Please join me in welcoming our principal, Jason Flanders. Good morning. Please join the faculty, staff, and administrators of Baldwin High School in congratulating the class of 2020 on the result of 13 years of hard work. Since many of you in the class of 2020 are watching this with your family and possibly friends, I ask that you reflect upon the impact that those closest to you have made on your journey and the role that they have played in your achievement of this milestone. Over the next few days, I urge you to thank the people that have meant the most to you. I cannot ignore the obvious. We're not at the Centennial Center this morning, and you did not get to attend school after March 16th due to the coronavirus. This experience has certainly changed our lives in ways we could have never imagined just a few months ago. While it will be easy to complain about the negative impacts of COVID-19, I want to talk about the positive lessons that can be learned from this situation. The first lesson that coronavirus can teach us is that we're all more alike than we are different. We may come from different backgrounds, interests, we may believe different things, or even have different football teams that we root for. However, during the coronavirus, we have learned to put those differences aside and come together to defeat the virus and show love to one another. News outlets feature stories of complete strangers reaching out to help each other in need. It seems as though the entire medical community has united to fight coronavirus. The willingness to unite for a common cause and demonstrate compassion and love for each other are things that I hope will remain long after the current crisis has ended. The restrictions of social distancing have unleashed a multitude of incredible ideas to create new procedures to make daily activities such as going to the doctor, getting a haircut, or grocery shopping possible, and to create substitutes such as a virtual graduation for an event that could not happen in its traditional manner. The power of the human mind to adapt to circumstances and overcome obstacles is amazing. Think of all the ways we've adapted. We wear masks in public, we've begun to use contactless delivery and curbside pickup, and we have found ways to do things like having meetings and classes on Zoom or Google Meet. We have also created new traditions. Never before have all seniors had billboards taken out in their honor or been given yard signs to tout their accomplishments. The final lesson that we can learn from coronavirus is that within us lies the power and grit to accomplish and endure whatever obstacles may be placed in our way. On the news last week, I heard a story about a 107-year-old man that suffered the flu outbreak of 1918, combat in World War II, and now he has defeated coronavirus as well. His story is not unique. Many of you have overcome obstacles to get here today. I'm sure that someone in the class of 2020 has suffered a significant health issue along your path to graduation. Others may have lost a family member or close friend prior to today. Some of you have overcome poverty and its barriers to graduate high school. You have succeeded despite your struggles. These recent circumstances have been difficult for all of us to endure, yet we are still here. You have successfully completed your senior year. If you still have your family, health, and friends, then you have a lot to be thankful for today as you celebrate your graduation. In closing, I want to tell you how much I have enjoyed these last two years with you. You certainly brought joy to my life, and I hope that your time at Baldwin High School will be remembered fondly by each of you. 
As you go out to meet the challenges of life, know you are always brave for life. Baldwin High School will always be here for you. I wish the best for each of you and eagerly await the news of your accomplishments as you go out to make your mark upon the world. At this time, Dr. Price and members of the Board of Education, I certify that these members of the class of 2020 have completed the requirements for graduation. I recommend that they be officially recognized as high school graduates. Now a word from our superintendent, Dr. Norris Price. Good morning, class of 2020, board members, parents, family members, friends, faculty, and staff. I'm Dr. Norris Price, the proud superintendent of the Baldwin County School District. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our first ever virtual graduation. This ceremony is our attempt to honor the class of 2020 in a meaningful way on the day that we were scheduled to have our in-person graduation. Today we're making history. No one would have predicted that your senior year would end this way. I must tell you that in my 30 plus years in education, I have never experienced anything like the COVID-19 pandemic. Graduates, I know you were disappointed when you found out that schools were closed for the remainder of the school year and that you would not be able to participate in all the senior activities. However, you quickly realized that it wasn't within your control and you persevere. So today, we celebrate each of you. I hope you take the time to reflect on precisely how you got here and I hope that you understand that you did not arrive at this moment simply on your hard work alone. None of us have. There have been countless individuals all along the way that have helped you. First and most importantly, your parents and family members have done more for you than you may ever know. They have sacrificed so very much for you. And if you ask them, I'm sure that they will answer without hesitation that in this moment, it was all worth it. They have worked hard to support you to encourage you, to raise you up in the moments when life feels overwhelming, and have been there to celebrate with you all of your achievements along the way. Please join me now in saying thanks to all of our parents and family members that have joined us here today. Please thank them and give them a round of applause. While our families play the most important roles in our lives, let there be no doubt that there is another equally important group of people who have been dedicating their life's work to seeing you succeed. These people are our educators who lead our schools and our classrooms every single day. Your teachers have guided you and pushed you to your full potential. They have been hard on you when they knew you could do better and they have been the shoulder to lean on when you have encountered barriers. After graduation, Please take the time to reach out to our faculty and staff and tell them how much you appreciate them. Faculty and staff, my heart ached for you and our students when I knew we had to switch from face-to-face -face teaching to remote learning. I know how much you value your relationship with your students and without you, we would not be here celebrating our graduates. Baldwin High School teachers, support staff and administrators, Thank you for your ability to change your professional life in midstream to help our students carry on with their futures. I cannot tell you how many people in our community now have even more respect for what you do. In fact, I would say the entire nation has a new appreciation and understanding of the incredible work educators do each and every day. Finally, to the great class of 2020, the sky's the limit for you. You had to make a significant shift in how you were going to continue your education. No small feat, yet you have gone on to triumph. You have been resourceful, resilient, and creative, despite having your senior year interrupted. You have persevered and shown tenacity. You are stronger than ever before, and what you have learned through this pandemic will help you in your personal and professional life, especially if you have to make any sudden changes in your life again. Let me share a few facts about the class of 2020. 60% will be continuing their education at a technical or four-year college or university. 10% will serve in the military, and 30% will be entering the workforce. They will be attending colleges such as Georgia Tech, Tuskegee University, Clark Atlanta, Vardasa State, Savannah State, 
Westland College, Fort Valley State, Georgia State, Kennesaw State, Georgia Southern, Georgia College and State University, Central Georgia Technical College, Georgia Military College, and the list goes on and on. This class has earned over 3,200 college credits. 15 students have earned their associate's degree and today will be earning their high school diploma. What an accomplished class. Class of 2020, my challenge to you is to not allow this world to continue as is. Change it. Go out and make this world all we know it can be, all we want it to be. Set off on this great journey of your life with the goals of seeking out and creating a better community for all of us, not just some of us. Do not despair at the challenges staring you in the face. Go right at them with confidence and passion for building a better world than the one you have inherited. Most importantly, do not forget to take the time to reflect and enjoy your accomplishments along the way. That is my challenge to each of you here today. Be part of something bigger than yourself. Do all that you can for others. Be that shining light of hope rising above the horizon. I am excited to see just how much of a positive impact each of you will play in creating a brighter future for us all. Again, congratulations, Class of 2020. You did it. We love you and are extremely proud of you. As the superintendent of the Baldwin County School District, I hereby certify that all the members of the Class of 2020 have met all the requirements for graduation established by the State of Georgia and the Baldwin County Board of Education. Therefore, I accept this class for graduation and call upon Mr. Lynn Chandler, Chairman of the Board of Education, to present them with their diplomas. First, I would like to say on behalf of myself and the Board of Education, congratulations on completing your high school requirements for graduation under difficult conditions. You are to be commended for your hard work, not only for the unusual year, but for your entire high school career. I know this is not what you wanted or expected this year, but I encourage you to stay positive and most importantly, to continue your education in a post-secondary institution. Hopefully we will be able to hold a graduation ceremony in the near future where we can recognize each of you in person. Again, congratulations to each of you for your high school graduation. And now for the presentation of the diplomas. Kara Louisa Bennett, valedictorian. Aisha Sopti, salutatorian. Isaac Alexander, honor graduate. Amani Alicia Bennett, honor graduate, associate's degree, GMC. Miranda J. Brett, honor graduate. Morgan Tia Lee Burke, honor graduate, associate's degree, GMC. Amber Nicole Butts, honor graduate, associate's degree, GMC. Adriana Davis, honor graduate. Madison Laney Davis, honor graduate. Caitlin Llewellyn Dominey, honor graduate. Jolie Ray Drew, honor graduate, associate's degree, GMC. Rebecca Gonda Alongwe, honor graduate. Kara Eileen Firesheets, honor graduate. Shakiria Ari Ford, honor graduate. Jakia Shane Green, honor graduate, associate's degree, GMC. David Allen Grimes, honor graduate. LaMarcus Harris, Honor Graduate. Kennedy Janae Huff, Honor Graduate. Jaden McKenzie Hunt, Honor Graduate, Associate's Degree, GMC. Tamia Beyonce James, Honor Graduate, Associate's Degree, GMC. Michaela DeAsia Milner, Honor Graduate, Reach Scholar. Candace Michelle Mitchell, Honor Graduate. Hecat Tumre Mitchell, Honor Graduate. Nathan Thomas Mitchell, Honor Graduate. Requavius Krishan Pearson, Honor Graduate. Bryson Rabin, Honor Graduate, Associate's Degree, GMC. Lindsay Alexis Sanders, Honor Graduate, Associate's Degree, GMC. Savannah Sanford, Honor Graduate, 
Reach Scholar. Tabitha Jade Sewell, Honor Graduate, Associate's Degree, GMC. Marvisha Bernay Smith, Honor Graduate, Associate's Degree, GMC. Nathaniel Brian Smith, Honor Graduate. Molly Jalea Taquanda Spites, Honor Graduate, Associate's Degree, GMC. Trevor David Thompson, Honor Graduate. Jalen Carrington Thorpe, Honor Graduate. Shyla Shalir Tucker, Honor Graduate. Amaya Johan, Honor Graduate. Bernita Allen. Empress Quintarius Armstrong. Dylan Chase Barbie. Jamil Amarion Bayman. Nakaya Blackshear. Janasia Nashe Blunt. Courtney Michelle Elise Body. Treshawn Maurice Bolston. Akia LaShawn Brazil. Antavius Quantez Brookins. Jasmine Nicole Butts. Nakaya Catisse Butts. Akira Chantel Charleston. Amani Cheatham, Jamal Clark, Keenan Joel Clayton, Jalen Cortez Cleveland, Takia Cleveland, Nakaya Adasia Cogdell. John Orion Cook, Caitlin Corbin, Reach Scholar, Miguel Covington, Demetrius Craig, Landon Culver, Associate's Degree, GMC, Keanu Curry, Brashawn Daniel, Kirsten Latrice Daniels, Keyshawn Terrell Daniels, Niasia Monet Daniels, Anthony Terrell Davis, Javante Dwayne Davis, Kaya Amir Davis. Talia Dawson, Naija LaShawn Dixon, Jaquay Kibri Dixon, Manikia Lachey Donaldson, Jordan Malik Driscoll, Zania Brache Driscoll. Tania Shambria Dunn, Quantavius Damon Durden, Allen Vincent Edwards, Kiamber Farler, Harvey Lynn Farley, Jalisa Arbriana Farley. Michaela Jeanette Tatalia Felton. Shania Alexandria Fluellen, Associate's Degree, GMC. Amaya Janae Ford. Kiasia Lachey Fraley. Jesse Garcia. Skylar Blake Garza. Diamond Gibson, 
Anila Monet Gilmore. Startisha Latrice Glenn. Shanila Quandasia Goddard. Travis L. Gordon Jr. Christopher Amon Green. Patrick Orlando Greggs. Elijah Antonio Griffin. Eric Deshaun Hall. Paris Nichelle Hall. Bailey Nathaniel Hamilton. Deja Avion Harden. Michael Austin Harden. Kara Zamone Harper. Anaya Latrice Harris. Rakiria Denicia Harris. Isabel Harrison. Amariah Chantel Hart. Jayla Hartley. Niasia Lachelle Hartley. Jordan Christian Hartry. Haley Jean Hatmaker. Clinton Jason Hayes, Kabir Henderson, Lamisha Nate Henry, Aaliyah Michaela Hightower, Jordan Malik Hightower, Zakiria Jaquela Hightower. Jalen Malik Hill, Noah Hill, Shania Talexia Hill, Nabria Hitchcock, Kamaya Yvonne Hogan, Tanasia Kimbria Hooks. Natara Niasia Horn, TJ House, Nigel Mildred Hubbard, Garrett Samuel Huff, Zandria Janae Hurt, Decora Nicole Jackson, Associate's Degree, GMC. Evan Jackson, Jabril Jackson, Kelsey Jackson, Maya Nicole Jackson, Takedra Aranique Jackson, Haley Nicole Jones. Vakila Kiana Joseph, Devin Ketch, Maria King, Hunter David Kingsbury, Keyshawn Kinslow, Brandon Malik Lango. Kaya Brianna Larkin, Reach Scholar. David Ivan Lavender, Jr. Eddie Lee. Joshua Lewis Jose Lester. David Allen Lewis. Trevor Clayton Lewis. Zaisha Christiana Lindsay. Navin Sincere Little. Cameron Martin. 
Orlando Martinez Sean Mason Jalen Renard Mason Matthias Matthews Xavion Malik Matthews Darius Lanier May Brianna Nicole McLean Isaac McLean Pilaire Deja McCormick Grace Nickel DeAndre Victorious McKnight Reach Scholar Xavier Mitchell, Associate's Degree, GMC. Aaliyah Faith Mitchum. Kiera Marie Motes. Kaylee Elizabeth Moon. Kennedy Simone Morgan. DeAndre Darrell Morris. Jamon Montrell Mosley Cameron Madison Mullis Jasmine Marie Mullis Jatavius Deshaun Myrick Briasia Jakiria Nelson Melanie Marie New Alexia Nicole Ochoa Jatiya Ashanti Odom April Parker Honesty Kiasia Parks Adorius Cortez Pearson Eric Perez Anna Isabel Perez Mendez Marquise Venaro Pinkston Jartavius Latroy Primus Aaron Grace Pruitt Benjamin Quinn Delaney Jane Aldine Rosveld Taquasha Shankiria Reeves Traquan Martez Reeves Jeremiah Montavious Reeves Shakira Renfro Katara Renee Richardson Brianna Trenise Roach Amaya Robertson Kevin James Ross Jr. Nathan Rouse Zaire Najib Salahuddin Jamal Jamar Sanford Alicia Garcia Tobias Avion Scott Zanair Monet Scott Madison Taylor Seagraves Shigarius Sellers Destiny Monet Schenholster, Associate's Degree, GMC Jamara McKenzie Simmons Jordan Simmons Megan Simone Simmons Janaya Taasia Spencer Timothy Spikes Denzel Cantrell Stanton Skylar Ambria Steele Rodriguez Deshaun Stewart 
Shernesia Tamaya Stewart Corey O'Neill Strange Jr. Gabrielle Christina Strange Shadiman Stubbs Raquan Raphael Taylor Lagaya Tucker JC Lillian Ursery Jason Roy Vassar Michaela Waller Montavious DeMonte Waller, Associate's Degree, CGTC. Jalen Malik Walls. Jordan DeAndre Walls. Summer Diamondasia Walls. Taurus Warren. Kenneth Ray Washington. Genoa Trevion Watkins Lucas Bradford Webb Michaela Aaliyah Webb Trayvon Deontay Wells Jamarcus Antoine Whipple Kiana Chantricia Whipple Alexis Camille White Aliana Shade Williams Caleb B. Williams Christopher Michael Williams Janice Latoya Williams Kanisha Naje Williams Radesia Ashanti Williams Corey Jekyll Womble Laney May Wood Kane Lee Worley Shamiria Dominique Wright Skyla Samore Wright And now back to our valedictorian, Kara Bennett, for the turning of the tassels. Class of 2020, please stand. You may now turn your tassel. Congratulations. Singing our alma mater is Andrea Hurt, Hiket Mitchell, and Aisha Sobti. Hail to the old Baldwin High School, alma mater thine we let your light shine on the Southland and your fame spread near and far. Seeds of learning guide to knowledge, truth and honor bright as clear. Though we leave you all a mater, in our hearts we'll hold you dear. That concludes our first ever virtual graduation. In a strange way, we made history today. Remember to join us for our in-person graduation on Saturday, June 27th at the Brave Stadium. And if it's safe to gather, our alternate graduation date is Saturday, July 18th. Thank you for joining us. And again, congratulations to the class of 2020.